daycare providers from all over welcome to my youtube channel on let's talk daycare yes let's talk daycare is our own channel for daycare providers and daycare centers but it's pretty much informed for a lot of home daycare providers um i'll tell you a little bit about myself well i have been into daycare for over 28 years and I started my own um, daycare page called um, Daycare Providers United, U-N-I-T-E, where, you know, um, I mainly talk about different things um, to help providers grow in their in-home daycare um, business. But first of all, to make sure that they are taking care of their health and wellness. They are taking care of their self because you cannot take care of your um, other children or children if you're not taking care of your what yourself. So that's what my um, page is, um, Daycare Providers United. Well, today's subject, I want to talk about when a daycare parent um, falls in love, well, when, you, when your spouse falls in love with a daycare parent. So this was during COVID time when um, I had my own little forum and I was talking to daycare providers about a lot of um, different things that was going on and I would read some of the things that different um, daycare providers would write in and one of them had wrote in and it, it kind of stuck with me and I did talk about this a little bit about um, how her husband left her for a daycare parent and I was like wow my mind was blown away but I can kind of see where that I could kind of see both sides, but to me, it was dead wrong either either way because you don't do that. Um, but if you're working with your husband, I could see what I'm talking about. I could see both sides because I could see where you come familiar with um, your clients. You come very familiar with them. Um, you're talking with them, you know, two or three times a day. Um, you're sharing, you know, different things with the children, about the children, and you're laughing, you know, and, and sometimes you can come very, very, um, comfortable around that person. So, um, the provider was already saying that her and her husband was on shaky, really shaky grounds. He had lost his job. So he had came in to help her in the daycare. And she said it was very, they was already going through a lot of problems, a lot of problems. So, um, I guess the husband got very familiar with a parent a single mom and every single day she said she noticed that when this single parent came a young girl very pretty she said when she came he will hurry up and scare her to the front get the little boy stuff and um want to be there to talk about you know how the little boy day went and he will always tell his wife i got it i got i got her i got i got his stuff you know um that was a clue right there that was a clue right there um the second clue was she felt that she kind of um gave up on herself um she wasn't fixing herself up anymore because they were already going through problems um financial problems um they were um, not seeing eye to eye on a lot of different things. They were arguing almost every day, she said. And it got to a point where she was just tired, you know. Um, and when you work in, in the business with your husband, and which I, I did. I, wo I worked in the business with my husband for almost 20 years. There were certain things he knew his place in the business and I knew my place. My place was to make sure I talked to the parents, make sure I let them know how their child day went, um, make sure I did all the conversation with the parents. Um, but I guess it was the other way around when it came to this young parent. Um, the husband wanted to do the conversation. Then she was hearing little things about, you know, um, she would see, um, the husband um, and and the parent out, you know, at the same bar. And sometimes they'll be, you know, um, talking to each other at the bar. She said she really didn't see anything about that because it's a small, they live in a small town. And, you know, a lot of people go to this small bar. But then um, someone very, very close to her who went to the daycare told her that the girl was saying that she was 
dating her daycare provider um, husband. And she ended up taking the little boy out the daycare. And the wife kind of put one and one and two and two together and asked the husband. And the husband said, yes, um, they were seeing each other. He is in love with her. And he was leaving the daycare um, owner. That's why I always say this. Ladies, if you are working with your spouse in the in-home daycare, you know what? You should know your place. If you're talking to the parents, you be the one talking to the parents. Um, if your husband doing the grocery shopping or the running right, know your, know your place. Um, and keep an eye on your business. Keep an eye on everything that is going on. Keep an eye on it. And then the first thing first, when you wake up in the morning, fix yourself up. And, and, and it don't even have to be because your husband is working in the daycare. It just could be because you need to fix yourself up. Don't come to the door, door with rollers in your hair, dirty sweatpants, what you had on for the whole week, a t-shirt with coffee stains on. This is your business. You need to care about the way you look. This daycare provider said that she was so stressed out that she almost had a nervous breakdown because she could not believe that her husband had did this to her. She could not believe that um, the daycare parent had betrayed her like this. And she just felt terrible. She said she felt terrible. But she wanted me to talk about this to let daycare providers know it can happen, which anything really can happen, but you have to have your eyes open and you have to watch your surroundings and you have to watch everything that goes on in your daycare. Because see, a lot of these young parents and older parents, they think that, you know, we got it going on. They think that, you know, we're making a lot of money. And especially a lot of these um, parents who are single moms and they see you got a husband who's doing things around in daycare. And, you know, sometimes they want what you got. Hmm. So just keep your eyes open and, you know, make sure that you keep business business. Well, thank you so much for joining our channel. Let's talk daycare and share. Um, hit the notification button. First of all, hit the notification button and the bell. And every time I upload a video, you will know this is our channel. This is our daycare provider channel. So we can talk about anything that's going in in-home daycare or even daycare centers. So please let anybody you know who have a daycare or in-home daycare or daycare center, we have our own channel. So thank you so much. Again, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> hit the notification button and the bell. And every time I upload a wonderful video, you will know. These are things that is happening in our daycare. We can't got to take off the blinders. We're going to be talking about all sorts of things in this forum. So take care. God bless. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget, let's talk daycare. Yes, let's talk daycare. Take care.